Hey everybody, it's Comp Help. Thank you for watching this video. This video is part four of my 3D Studio Max series. Now, look at where you are now. You now know how to, you know about the viewports, you know how to navigate the viewports, you know different parts of the program, which is the main toolbar, command panel, use the viewports, um, you know how to, what I say, move around, you know about several shortcut keys, you know how to undo without control z uh, you know how to create objects, how to edit parameters, how to add segments, uh, you know how to do a ton of things, you know about all the different, uh, well, a, a lot of shapes that you, or a lot of ge geometric shapes that you can use, including the standard and, and extended primitives, um, you know how to move, rotate, and scale objects, you just know a ton, don't you? Alright, so in this video, we're actually going to go ahead and play around in the modify panel. That's right, I um, mean, you know, I'm just going to show you maybe, um, maybe one thing or two, I don't know. Uh, we'll see how this turns out. Um, and I'll show you the reason why the parameters really, uh, why they're important here. So let me go ahead and just make a box. Okay, trust me, you guys are learning at a rapid pace. I don't know if you realize. Let's go ahead and make a box here. Doesn't really matter, I'm just going to center those up. Great, Z. Now I'm going to go back, you know, right click actually. Get out of my box command. Boom right click okay now my box is selected I'm gonna go to my modify panel here and I can actually modify the length and the width so I don't know I'm gonna put this at about 60 uh, 60 okay you can use, even type in the numbers okay so 50 you see you can hear me typing those in uh, and I'm gonna adjust the height which will be a little bit tall I'm gonna press Z to center everything up great now I'm gonna press J to get rid of that annoying like uh, thing there and I'm going to press F4. Okay, so now we can see that we're now going to be able to see our segments. Let me add some length segments. I'm not really going to need length segments, width segments. I'm not going to need those. I'm going to need height segments. There we go. Because we are going to add a bend modify, uh, a bend modifier here. Okay, and we're going to make this shape bend. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and maximize my viewport by holding Alt and clicking W. There we go. I'm going to zoom out a bit by, you know, scrolling out some and I'm gonna get in a nice little angle here I don't know it doesn't really matter and I'm gonna go over to my modify list okay you see we have a box okay this shows us what we have on the box um, I'm gonna go into my modifier list and we have all these things here that will pretty much help us shape and uh, change the shape of, of everything we make as we're modeling and such or these are even tools that help us out as we move along so let's go ahead and add something called a bend. Let's go to bend. And there we go. You see this like orange outline thing going on here. Let's go ahead and start bending this. Let's go to angle. And look at that. It bends now. And the reason why it's able to bend is because we added those height segments. Okay. Now, if I go back to box and I take those height segments off, let's say I bring it to like that. Let's go back to bend. And I start trying to make this bend. It See how sharp that angle is? Look right there. I mean, hey, that, that may look really cool for something that you're modeling in architecture or something. But, I mean, if you're trying to make like a noodle or something, I probably should have made a cylinder for this. But if you're trying to make something like macaroni, you know, bend, it's not going to look nice. Uh, so let's go ahead back to our box and we can add some more height segments to that. You see how much more smooth it gets. Okay. Now, you don't want to go like crazy and just start freaking adding a bunch because the more segments you add, for one, the slower the rendering time is, and two, um, the more the more hefty the program gets, like the harder it gets for your computer to run the program, okay? So don't just go crazy and start adding a thousand segments to get as smooth as you possibly can. Be reasonable about it. I mean, right here is fine. I mean, unless you're doing like professional, professional work and you have some awesome computer, you don't really need to add that much. I'm just I'm just trying to help you guys out. I don't want you guys to kill your computer because, you know, your computer's trying to compute all this information. So, okay, there we go. We can even change the direction using this modify. There we go. So, look at that. We are now ha we are now have like a dancing noodle square thing. Dancing noodle box. There we go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> okay. Having a little too much fun here, aren't I? Let's right click this. If we right click these uh arrows here it'll actually zero out everything so we can actually add 50 and if I right click there we go okay or what I can even do is if I don't want that say I'm editing this ah you know what I don't really want that bend on just right click 
in the middle of my command. And there you go. It's back to normal. All right. We can even you know, change the bend access and everything. You know, it depends on what you're trying to accomplish here. Okay. So look at that. So, I mean, you can go ahead and mess around with the bend modifier. You know, do whatever you want. Let's say we don't want that bend on anymore. Um, what are we going to do? We're going to highlight this bend, okay, by clicking it and click this trash can icon. Boom. We are back to a box. Okay, you can see the bend is no longer there. And, well, yeah, we are back to a regular box. So there you go. That is the modifier uh, stack. You can do all sorts of things here. I don't know. Bend. Um, melt. I don't know. can make this thing melt. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool effect there. You know, and when you animate something like that, it looks really cool. Uh, percentage of melt, we can change that. Um, yeah. So, I mean, there we go. I'll go over animation uh, later on. So, okay. So, I mean, that's the modifier list. Uh, you can add lots of cool things. So, maybe what you want to do is go ahead and practice up. Check out some of the things like add a twist. So, you can have a twist while adding a melt while maybe adding a bend at the same time. <laughs> so look at that. We have it twisting, melting, and bending all at once. So go ahead, get creative. Just mess around with it. Uh, let's see what you could do. All right, so let's go ahead. And what is this, part four? Let's go ahead and go to part five, whatever part the next part is. Uh, remember, please rate, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a ton, subscribing especially. And if you watch all my videos, that would help me even more. Thank you so much. Peace.